Hello and welcome to subclipping and favoriting clips inside of Final Cut Pro 10. I think I've said that. I, I, I'm repeating myself today. In fact, one of the ironies about using this media is that we actually had to organize organize this filming day three times um, to get the footage. And this is actually my third attempt at filming this tutorial, uh, which has actually gone wrong, corrupted, lost the audio. This is a cursed tutorial, as is this film, so fantastic. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put my viewer back on the main screen so you guys can see what we're actually doing here. And there we go. Okay, so you can see inside our event library, we've actually got some keyword collections and some static bins. Now, this is actually a really effective way of working because we can have multiple keywords but relate them to a specific scene without having to scroll through loads of keywords just to get to the ones that relate to the scene you're actually working with. So I strongly recommend combining static bins with keywords to get the most out of Final Cut Pro 10. So let's take a look at our park scene, um, park day 2, basically this means it's the second day of filming, the third day I was actually ill so we had never actually got out there, and the first day got rained off, so the second day actually has the majority of the footage we're actually going to be working on. So let's start off by taking a look at the clip. And you can see that for a lot of this clip, we, it's all shaky before I actually get what I want. We only actually want this latter half of the clip. So what we can actually do is if we press O to set an outcome and press backspace, we've now created this red line and that actually now creates rejected media, media we don't actually want. And if we just click again and now press in, and with this last portion, the portion we actually want, if we now press S, you can see it's gone green. And that has created a favorited portion of our media media. And as we go to this view, you can see now, see now um, um, we've actually, we've got, actually got what we just, what we just created. created. A favourite section, section and an unfavourite section. Unfavorite section. section. Um, and, and, and you can see, if we just toggle this down, down, down this arrow, you can see, you can see um, uh, these are some of the effects that, that, that we can see. You can see some shake, shake, shake effect, effect to stabilise the clip. Or it's analysed to have some of the shape of shake, 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 you can toggle down, down, down in this view and see what you've got. However, I believe that there is a far more effective way of working. And the favouriting, obviously, is very quickly um, a great way of grabbing portions of Eclipse. However, to actually access and create maybe a whole folder of these favourite clips, I think that the best way to do it is to add keywords to these selections. So you can see, just by clicking on this favourite button, We've selected the range that is the favourite, and if we now press Command K to add a keyword, and press Tony, who's the name of the actor in the sh in the film, favourite, and bam, you can see we've now added a keyword to that clip, and you can see um, the keywords now been added to the list of uh, properties of that clip. And if we click on that, you can see that is also the range, and if we now see we've got a Tony favourite keyword collection. In here are some other clips that I've done the exact same thing. I've favorited a portion and then I've added a keyword to that portion. And if we now go back into a film strip view, we can only access the favorited area. This is really important because generally, just by favoriting, you are technically um, saving a selection. Whereas by creating a keyword folder or a keyword selection of favorited areas, we now have access only to the favorited me media. So let's say you have an assistant editor who's going, who's trifling through all your footage, all your hundreds of hours that you're too lazy to do. He can go through and just create some keyword selections, put them into some static bins so you know um, what scenes the keywords respond to or are associated with. And we can now just edit straight from these um, favorited portions because that we don't have to deal with all of the rubbish, all of the uh, bits where the camera was accidentally left rolling or the bit where the sound guy is accidentally in shot. We are just dealing with the proper footage that we can now edit with and you can see we can drag this clip in. Whereas if we were, let's go back to um, what we had before. 
you can see if we accidentally just selected the whole clip oh, we'd be grabbing the whole clip in rather than having to um, go down choose favorite or choose the keyword and then grabbing that portion instead we can just navigate to our keyword and just grab all the portions that are pre-allocated even in list view we only have access to the favorited area and you can tell that I mean, primarily due to the green bar travels across the entire clip um, that's just a reassurance I guess um, that is how it works so I hope this was useful um, so go through your media uh, select ranges add keywords to specific ranges you, you don't have to favorite it to add a keyword for instance let's um, let's choose this clip let's see what let's say we want from here to here and then press command K and again type Tony favorite and you can see the keywords been added to that range again uh, let's go back to Tony favorite and you can see that that clip is now there and it's just the range we wanted and we could even uh, go back to our media that we had and you can see we've still got by just clicking on that keyword we got that range selected and we can just press F and we've now added a favorite to it as well you can remove favorite media by the way by pressing this button here and you can also add favorite by clicking this button but I believe that pressing the F button is far quicker and far more effective learn your keyboard guys learn it it's it's in here I think it's, it's pretty easy to find where is it there you go commands customize bam I mean that's a pretty tasty looking keyboard um, albeit even though Apple only seems to sell the flat aluminium keyboard they seem to have pictured a non-flat keyboard like an actual proper thick keys it's beyond me it's beyond my intelligence why Apple have done this um, but this is quite cool if you don't know how to do something by the way there's there's actually a very good help area like I'm trying to cover as much as I can in my tutorials but learn to use this. This is a badass. When it works, I mean, it's pretty. There you go. Look, you can see it's actually like a whole book. Final Cut Pro help. This is this is exactly what you used to get with the uh, with the actual booklet with, that came with Final Cut when it was a boxed media as opposed to a download. So it's up here in your help bar. But. Like I said, hope this was useful. Now you know how to subclip, uh, save these, add keywords. Um, by the way, by default, let's say we added a different keyword, like um, let's say from here to here, uh, command K. Let's say we just create a new keyword, Tony Tracking. Bam. Um, you it won't put it in the folder you're already in it's actually gonna just put it at the bottom here and then we can drag it into this static bin here and you can see now it's in there and we can collapse these scenes when we're not working with other scenes but I generally like to have access to all the keywords in all of my scenes it's only the reason the main reason like I said is just so that we can associate specific keywords with specific scenes and if we were to delete say the Tony favorite keyword that will not delete the clips that will only delete the keyword and remove that keyword from that portion of clips but we have still retained the favorites um, which is also important and we'll just get rid of this Tony track in as well I'm hitting backspace by the way to delete stuff and if you want to delete stuff from here you press command backspace so if we want to delete this we press command backspace to remove it and same from here so like I said I think I've repeated myself now a few times I, I do that a lot um, thanks for watching um, I'm gonna be away now so check the release of this video I'm off to America for until around the 20th of August and then I'll be back with some awesome new tutorials and some more I'll be back also with the second behind the scenes video for Husky which is the footage you're seeing here is for Husky and you might be thinking wow that looks bad now but you should see the raw footage of the dark and light of day and in fact go and watch the behind the scenes of dark and light of day and see the before and after of the footage it's, it's quite interesting okay well anyway I'm gonna stop blabbering now thanks for watching uh, if you can spare a like uh, 
a comment and a favorite maybe I don't know that's pushing it I know sorry but don't don't hate don't hate share the love don't hate and if you want to hate if something annoys you just just leave a constructive comment say what you like what you didn't like and I'll bear it in mind I will honestly I mean I might block you but I'll definitely bear it in mind 